Today we're going to talk about the Bank of America Tower you see behind me. Currently the tallest building in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. It was built in the early 80s, completed in 1985. Ten years ago, we reached out to a local consultant, had them take a look at the building and put a five-year plan together of changing the seals out on all 18,000 panes of glass. Well, after the call from CDC, I reached out to Tremco's design engineering team in Ashland. Through Peter Poirier, we found out that we had actually provided the gaskets for the original installation. So I looked in the mezzanine, which is this dusty old place up and above the ceiling, and we had the files. All of the information that he had was laid out perfectly in those old manila folders up there. That was actually a peace of mind for the owner. He felt like if the original gaskets from Tremco had lasted this long that he couldn't go wrong with going with uh, Tremco solution again. The exterior gasket originally was a neoprene sponge gasket which was in place before the glass went in from the interior side of the building. So the challenge is how are we going to replace that gasket without removing glass, without interrupting any of the occupants in the building. We offered up what we call our poly wedge design. The poly wedge is very unique in that it's got some angularity to it, but it is a dense profile that can be inserted once the old gasket is removed. The problems that we came into was that the initial design was a little bit too heavy, so it was too hard to drive in. It's very important we don't break glass. They were very instrumental in getting the gasket to the correct sizing to where it was efficient for us to install, and it didn't allow too much pressure on the window system during that installation. So if you get a PLI that's over 7 to 10 pounds, I believe at 15 pounds it can start to break the glass, especially in restoration. So it has the old glass with the metal that holds it instead of the polyisobutylene. So there's no silicone containing that glass and it's a lot easier to break. And if it's too light, it's just going to leak more than it already has been. The contractors use that material in the mock-ups. Come to find out that the one leg of it was a little too long. It was butting into the setting block and kind of giving a little bulge look. So we shortened that up a little bit and it was a perfect fit for their restoration project that they had down in Dallas. Did that, second round worked perfect. Been using it ever since, I don't know how many rolls. If I remember right, there was like 80 some miles of gasket that's gonna be used on this job. That relationship of them being here every day, doing the inspections, making sure that it's all done right and with no interruption to our facility or our tenants. A lot of these buildings in this area have that same sponge gasket on the exterior of the building and so this poly wedge solution will be a great one for customers to look at that is gonna be effective and be a clean solution for them.